Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you something really funny to do that is the creation of a mobile menu inside Azure RP. Actually this video will be split into two videos. The first one that is the one of today in which I'm going to show you how to animate the hamburger icon menu like this so that in the next video I'm going to show you instead how to really create the menu that appears on click on this icon. And so if you're interested as usual subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment and that's it, let's get started! inside Azure. So as you can see here on the screen, what we have is uh, quite simple. So we have a first uh, uh, dynamic panel in which we have uh, this, uh, this logo and a second dynamic panel that is the a hamburger menu, right? This hamburger menu is created with three lines, a top line, a middle line and a bottom line. It's really important that this uh, created like this because you will see it, you will see it. Everything is also wrapped inside a group, right? That is called hamburger. And the fire mouse uh, style events is on. What we have to do, it's actually quite simple, but you should follow me. Let's select the icon hamburger menu. The first thing that we have to do is on click to hide the middle line. So let's hide the middle line. We animate with a fade of 320 milliseconds. The second thing that we have to do is to animate the top line and the bottom line. To do so, we add an action that is rotate the top line clockwise by 45 degrees. The animation always with an uh, ease of cubic 320 millisecond, but most important is the anchor. The anchor should not be the center, but top left. We do the same with the bottom line. Now the rotation is not clockwise, but counterclockwise by 45 degrees again. Animation is of cubic, 320 milliseconds, and the anchor should be bottom left now. Yes. So let's see how it looks like. Preview. On click. Oh, you see? It works. But you see, there is something weird, right? And this is because uh, of the anchor, right? To solve this, this this problem there is a trick to do and is adding an action that is move move the top line by minus two pixels here and the bottom line right and the bottom line by two pixels this time let's see how it looks let's go in preview and on click now it looks more across right of course now if i continue to click you see what happened right it's 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 not what we want right so what we have to do is the reverse and to do so we we need an action to trigger this and what i can say is the action will be the hide and show of the middle line so let's enable the cases I add a logic that is if the visibility the visibility of a widget which widget of the middle line is equal to true and then I click then let do this now I can just copy this paste it and let's do the reverse so what I have to do now is if the visibility is false, it means that if it's hidden, 
then you, sh you have to not hide but show it again you have to rotate the top one not clockwise but counterclockwise do the same for the bottom line not counterclockwise but clockwise and the movement should be exactly the opposite again so instead of the uh, minus 2 for the top line is 2 and for the bottom line should be minus 2 so that everything goes back right let's toggle else if even if it's not important in this stage and let's go in preview and on click it works and if i click again it comes back you see that's amazing no it's a super simple it's super simple like that so we saw how to create an animation on a hamburger menu and also this video is finished i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me so as said that this is the first video the second video that will be released the next week will be about how to create the real menu that will appear on click on this hamburger icon so as usual activate the bell put a like a comment and and see you in the next video bye